Hi, I'm Pam, and I'm here to talk about video games. Hey, I'm here with episode 3 of Short Games for Busy People, recommendations of great games that you can complete in just a few hours. My recommendation today is the survival platformer Deadlight. Not Dying Light, Deadlight. Deadlight was developed by Tequila Works and released in 2012. It's a 2D side scroller that combines a number of genres. This is it. This is what's left of our world now. These are the leftovers of the war between men and shadows. A snapshot of what we've become. Bloody hell on Earth. It's a zombie game, so there's a survival horror aspect, but the focus is on action and platforming. In Deadlight, you play Randall Wayne, a Canadian park ranger who's looking for his family. He's come to Seattle after hearing that it's the last available safe point and the place he's most likely to find them. I know what you're thinking, another zombie game? To be honest, I'm not tired of zombies, in games at least. They provide a good backdrop and constant threat level. Deadlight has some very solid gameplay and the story has twists and turns as it goes. Unlike a lot of zombie games, the goal is usually to avoid combat wherever possible, rather than go around smashing heads. For much of the game, you have limited weapons, and melee weapons such as axes deplete your stamina, so it's best to run away from zombies or get rid of them in other ways. Thanks, buddy. You can yell to attract attention and then lure zombies into traps. Electricity seems to work on them. Or you can use other environmental effects in order to get the job done. The game isn't completely without combat though, as sometimes it just can't be avoided. Firearms handle well when you're forced to use them, but can draw unwanted extra attention. The platforming is quite satisfying, and it's fun to go charging through abandoned houses, highways, and underground bunkers. From smashing through doors, to traversing inactive electrical wires, and climbing over rooftops, the gameplay is fast and engaging. Deadlight is quite linear and straightforward. You won't be spending time trying to figure out what you should do next. It's not without challenge though, as some of the more time-sensitive parts can be quite tough. Luckily, the checkpoints are forgiving. Deadlight has a really cool visual style and tons of atmosphere. The way that the characters in the foreground are backlit gives them a shadowed appearance, and the zombies, which are actually called shadows, are noticeable by their glowing red eyes. A lot of the backgrounds really capture the feel of the Pacific Northwest, and despite the game being set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, it can really be quite beautiful. The game also does some cool visual things with the dream sequences that take place throughout. I'm running through town. I don't know if I'm running away from something, or if I'm running to something. The story sequences go the graphic novel route rather than relying on animation. You learn more about the story by unlocking journal pages as you go through the game. If you're into collectibles, there's also plenty of those to be found in the game world too, though they're not mandatory. Overall, Deadlight is a short but fun game, even though your character, the park ranger, doesn't know how to swim. Why doesn't anyone in zombie games ever know how to swim? Deadlight is about four to five hours long. If you're a fan of atmospheric platforms with solid controls and stories, then I recommend you give it a shot. It's available for PC and Xbox 360, and the normal cost is $15, though it is on sale fairly often. If you're looking for more great short games, be sure to check out my other recommendations as well. And as always, shares, likes, and comments are appreciated. Thanks for watching.